morning and in this video we're going to solve our another viewer another problem yeah so let's get started the first uh, this is a guy and he just um you know just write a comment that can you make a currency system in a card game tutorial um there's some you know leak of the uh, comments kind of like it's not totally 100 percent clear comment like in the currency system there's a lots of way to do like r is meaning that oh, like if i give you example of game like in a pubg you have uh, the uc for buying uh, items also you have some bp or some other currency also to buy this stuff so like that or he wants something else like the store system okay so i'm just going in a store system or in the currency system like a purchasing system okay so i'm going to use my a project template that is the advanced vehicle template and you find the full source in my also or git account so just check the description link and you can visit and you can also basically get this pack because this pack already have set up the vehicle and it's set up in unreal in 5.1 and it's also have the sound system also so yeah you can get that okay the first uh let's drive into the first let me show you that i already created a source image so we can use in the store okay now the first thing is we need to create the current system before creating the current system we need a ui so why we can display everything so let's create a simple you are even we can create a blueprint folder so it'll be more easy so we are ue here i am just blueprints and let's change it color so it'll be more very helpful for me and in the blueprints we'll be simply create a widget and the widget will be store okay so you can also write that simple name that store uh, ui yep it will work great and now with that store ui okay add here oh i have you know i just use also stuff okay now we'll add a canvas panel so with that we can basically make our stuff okay now we need a basically for example if you have multiple item you can use this scroll box you can use the vertical box for displaying so i'm going for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and it is more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below to use the horizontal scroll box or you can search it like scroll box yep it will look great and it not only look great it will be more easy to navigate so what i'm going to do i'm going to make it something like that okay so it will be basically with uh, display on my left side uh, all the items should become at like this is in a vertical so if you set horizontal so it will be it'll show like this so i'm going to use in the vertical mode okay now we need to send the anchor point to left side and we need to make it as a variable so we can add some stuff at here okay now the second step is we need to create the display item like how it will be display okay like a list view so we need to go use interface and widgets and widget actor and let's give it name a store uh store items I then see why I can call it to you right because it's also kind of like that so we can use a canvas panel again and then for displaying the image so we need a image box like this and we can set it like here and let's set it to size to 250 by 300 I guess it will be look great added the brush uh we need uh i will select our source image that is the fuel box okay and so now as i'm saying that the size is 200 will be good for this one okay now i want uh if you want to display the item name you can add a text box to display event so for example let's give it that x uh <laughs> what i'm gonna get in it so x uh, 17 what whatever you can write this more okay let's uh, let's give it x17 and we can set the anchor point to middle and if you want you can display the price even uh like in the price so you can write even price come on man yeah, all right price that is for example it's a 12 dollar i'm not sure yep maybe the full tank price can be 12 dollar and let's set it to anchor point to uh in the middle 
and at the at the last we need a buy button so we can our user can purchase basically this item so let's get add tags and let's set it to buy and let's make it some standard level like this We're just adding like that it will be look some more great okay we have similar like this now compile and save now make sure that everything in the top left corner for now will be customized that so now for checking that it's working 100% of the anchor point is good or not we can go to a graph and in the event pre construct it's also like work like the event construct how we use in the blueprint actor as you know that in every blueprint actor if i show you uh like in a vehicle template if you go any vehicle or any actor class or pawn class you'll find that even construct script that is basically execute the same stuff or execution the system in a runtime or editor game uh editor time okay so it will be also work in in, in a ui it's called even pre-construct so what will we do i will be use a for loop so i can you know get a multiple execution uh so let's get like execution highest three so or uh, let's give it a two uh, seven so we can check the are uh, the scroll boxes working or not set the loop so we'll be create widget and we'll be get our store item and as a return we'll be get the scroll box and we'll be add child okay the child is basically add the all the elements or all the ui data on this scroll box so if i compile and save and I'll go to design as you can see we'll be fine something like that for now we can uh, work like the and let me check can we scroll it no we can't scroll it from the editor mode so we can check it from the ui level or the game level right? so as you can see it's quite enough good so now we can adjust the size so it will be look great for example like this the sizes are pretty much enough good win and also if you want you can adjust some more but even i want only display one i uh, two uh highest two items so you can do like this then other user can basically you know scroll and he can discover some more items okay so this this is good okay now making some more great what i'm going to do i will going to add a border so this bot is allow you to add some effects on your oh why is that border mm. yep and let's set it to color in a gray so it will be look gray compile save go to ui and yep boom it's looking more great right now okay now compile save and now for displaying this stuff now it's a uh, total depends on you like whenever you want to display for example i'm going to set it to for as a whenever i press the tab it should be show me or the uh u button so the store or something like that so in my case i'm going to use the tab button so tab uh key press so whenever the tab key will be pressed it will be whatever do it's basically on the flip and flop it will be created and flip and flop and that after then it will be create widget from class and at here it will be basically display the store ui or it will basically create that so then it will be add to viewport and once it's add to viewport uh if you want to remove that so you can uh delete this specify one so for if you want to delete this specific one so you can add, you need to create a promoter variable and get the ui ref uh ui reference of store so we can now connect like this so because in the variable we have the data so we can check that is a validity and if it's a valid so then at the second time if you want we can remove that data from that variable so the ui will be also removed so yep now if i click on play and if i click on tab as you can see the left side is coming so also i want that whenever i press the tab button i can able to get my mouse cursor so for create that system it's basically very simple at the tab section let's get it some at here uh whenever i press this one it will be basically get my player controller get player controller get player controller and once i get my player controller i can show uh show mouse cursor and then simply compile uh sorry show that so if i click on play and if i tap so i have my mouse cursor 
and as you can see i can able to scroll it and i can basically buy it okay the simple the mechanism is ready the displaying mechanism or visual mechanism is ready now so let's make the buy system that okay we have money or not other stuff so for creating that at this store uh, let's add a text box so we can display the amount like how much we have so for example at the here let's add like this and for suppose we have uh, 1000 uh, 1230 USD that was too much I guess for now in my country it's a more than I like now uh, in so well one lakh twenty thousand so that is too much in my country right now okay okay let's set it to right side and is a variable okay now oh my god that's too big uh, let's set it to 50 50 is an upgrade for this one okay now what i want that or what we want oh no no what i want basically that how, how much money i have from that i can uh, purchase this item and if i not have enough money so at there it will be show me a message that, okay no you have don't have enough money okay so for create that system let's create a one more ui that we don't have enough money so let's go to blueprints and at the blueprints let's create another ui called uh error error ui so at this ui we can display anything whatever we want so yeah so add a canvas panel will be added a in the common will be added border and the border should be 550 by 200 not 300 okay it will be get enough space and now at here let's change to brush color like that or even you can choose some other color also so i'm going to like that okay now at here i'm going to display this tags okay so at here we can write lots of stuff like this like this okay so i'm going to set it to taxes to 18 and I'm out of the border and where is that oh here there you are come here brother uh come okay let me just first disable this one okay it should be displayed at here like whatever is the error it will be show and so once it show i'm able to basically remove that uh error okay like let's pay it to okay 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 like that okay so then the ui will be removed there's nothing okay too much like that Whenever I press OK, the message will be gone. So for the display the message, we can go to even construct. Oh, sorry, even construct. That is basically execution of this UI. So it will be set tags and like in the text box. So I will convert to a string. So it will be more easy for us to write that content. So I'll be create a simple variable and let's give it net message, 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 and then whenever i press the button the ui should be removed so remove from parent okay and then compile save and this is basically the ui system so let's give it a comment that ui load system and then we'll be do like this and let's get to our store oh sorry at the our yep, store and now because we have this one so we are able to call that okay now the basic thing is first let's create the variables at here on the event construct uh we need a variable that is basically our uh money how much we have so i'm not sure what i can give so let's give it that value how much we have so at the value will be city integer and suppose we have more than 1030 usd so now double whatever i'll do even even take i'll be at a sequence node at this sequence will be get the variable and we'll be get the text box to display the uh you know value at this one so we'll be set text and at here will be to convert to a string so we can use the join function uh, join system that is append the, with the append you can add multiple text in a one uh, text variable and you can also use the structure event there's no issue okay i'm going to write here the basically the sign of the usd 
uh, like that and then the value okay now it will be display every time okay and then this is basically the value displaying system now for the, in the purchasing system we need to go to uh, the UI basically at here uh, whenever I want to purchase okay like with the button whenever the user try to purchase what it will do it will be basically get the value uh, from you can say that from the store or like how much currency we have so let's give it that a uh, variable to value 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 oh sorry I'm just changing that and I'm going to change what that's something that white stuff just thing me the name okay so at the value I'm going to expose that so we're able to get that so at the value okay so if that value is greater than uh, how much we are going to spend basically so for the spending uh, the amount we can basically get from our tax box if you want you can say it, or the price of this item so item price okay so if we have greater than this amount at that time it we can able to purchase that so whatever we do from the value it's basically minus that and minus that value and then it will be basically set that on uh, how much the item price it is then it will be set it on the vari uh, value uh, the variable and the value and then what will be whatever it will be do is it will be uh, now there's a single little bit issue that on the loading system or if you want to create the like it will be, the runtime it will be show so the most easiest path to create that the value on your vehicle like whenever it always stays still like the store can be disabled the item can be disabled that is the basic stuff so if you want you can get the <coughs> we are going if you want you can get the value from your vehicle i guess it will be more easy for you to verify everything because in the us section uh, we can call that okay so let's create the variable in our here that is a value so suppose i have here that 1080 usd so in the item of ui in the event construct it will be get all actor from class and it will be get that basically specific vehicle that is port uh, pawn and from that it will be get the copy and from that copy it will be get the value and it will be basically set in our local variable so we are able to use that system and then it will be set at here also if it's uh, true if we have more than this and we also do the same thing at here we will be get that again and then will be set to our value so then what we will do will be set the value to set value how much we have the new currencies so it will be saved that for now in the local variable and if it's false it's been that we have we don't have enough amount of money so we'll be now display the error message so add to viewport and as you can see the error message is not displaying i'm not sure why so let's go to error message and let's set to export and on so yep let's give it a refresh yep we have the error no have the enough money okay so it can be show this uh this error like yeah okay we don't have enough mo error, money so at the item uh let's for now what i'm going to do uh let's give it that 12 usd or let's set it to 200 usd so per item prices for now is 200 usd okay okay great so at the store uh we need to do one more at the value uh we also need to, to do the same stuff what we did at here we need to get that data and because it's always executing with the event tick because it's updating so what it will do it will basically verify the class every time and then it will be set that to our value how much we have and it should be displayed here okay i guess this system should be work let's check 
yep 280 is showing if i press buy yep yep and yep we if you don't have enough money so then it will be sure that okay you don't have enough money so if you press okay so yeah that is the basically the system of creating the currency system okay so i guess you understand so thank you so much for watching and see you in next tutorial video and also you have if you have any requests let me know in my comment box for get my paid course you can visit my udemy account there's a lots of tutorial available also if you want to play my game you can check that on steam app store and google play store also we have now the discord channel so you can join there and do lots of fun and etc more also for get more information for our about video you can check our website also you can get my paid asset and plugins in epic marketplaces link in the description link below